okay so let's take a look at how you can connect to Visual Studio Code with PostgreSQL so as you know Visual Studio Code is one of those lightweight IDs that you can use to code as well as to connect with your notebooks or even to your databases so one such database that we are going to connect to is PostgreSQL so first we will try and connect to extensions so on left hand side you will find this clicking on that should open this option now within that search option we will search for postgres sql right and then it should search for all those available options so what I'm looking at is this Postgres SQL for Visual Studio Code so this is from Microsoft you can browse through other options as well so if you have Apple M1 then you can install respective extension then you have support for Azure with Postgres SQL and few other extension that have support for Postgres SQL database so let's go to the top and select this particular extension which is Postgres SQL right so if you check this it will allow you to connect to Postgres SQL instance manage connection profiles connect to instance and databases in a tab view DDL object write queries etc also it has support for this particular database with IntelliSense so you can write queries for that right then you also have option to export your queries and output to JSON CSV or Excel so now what we will do is we will click on install button and and download our Postgres SQL plugin for Visual Studio Code. Now, once it is installed, what it will do is it will show up within our command palette, right? So, to go there, what we can do is we will simply click on View and let's see. And we check for command palette which is control shift p right so before that what we'll do is we will simply close this and also come out of extension right now what we want to do is we will go to view then command palette now here what we will do is we will simply check for Postgres SQL so just type in PN O S T and it should search for its option so here you see it will give you options such as connection disconnection cancel query execute query use database new query and so on so what do we want to do with this is use this Postgres SQL connect option right you can also go through another method where you just simply go for file then new file and let's say if I want to create a query right so I will just try and have some file in database right so here let's go with sql query and let's name this my query right save this now it should have support for that intelligence while we are writing the query right now here you can see in the outputs tab it is downloading some of the specific files required for PostgreSQL tools, right? And it will install. 
you will notice that your operations while this is happening will make VS code a bit slow right then it will come up with uh, this release notes notification you can view it should open in browser right so we can ignore this for now coming back here you see we have our tools installed let's close this now what I will do is I will just go to view then I will go to command palette then let's go with postgres sql and choose connect because i want to connect to a particular connection so let's create connection profile right so here's our name right so let's say localhost is the server name press enter to confirm the next thing would be to give it a port right so optional database to connect let's say postgres because i don't have any other database to connect to it already taken the port so what we are left here is with username and password so postgres is the username and then comes the password hopefully it's encrypted right once you enter the password you can hit enter right now it seems like it is asking me to enter the port at the last right then finally you can name this profile so let's name this default postgres right i can hit enter and now it will release me from that now if you want to change the database what you can do is simply check the bottom for localhost then it will show you the list of the details and clicking on that should allow you to swap between the available set of databases within postgres so let's say if i choose to go with test db i can simply click on it and it should get it connected now what i can do is select all from let's see public dot persons right so this is the table i want so let's select that right so we have seen some results out of this so far and okay so you get the idea how to connect your visual studio code with postgres sql database